So today I want to revisit the issue of music distributors and music publishing. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stein and today I'm revisiting the issue that I raised uh, at the beginning of 2019. If you've seen uh, my other videos about music distributors such as CD Baby, DistroKid, TuneCore, United Masters, and also the issue of music publishing which relates to the song itself, the lyrics and uh, the ownership of the actual music. So, if, you, if you've seen my, my original video, which is, a, I, I guess you could say it's a little bit outdated in terms of my opinion, but in regards to the, the broad picture of, of what the independent artist is dealing with when they try to distribute their music independently and also uh, try to gain as much of the royalties and the revenue from their music as possible, the, the video is still valid. I, uh, I'll put, I'll put a, a, a link to that original video that, which was from January, 2019. And I think that would be a good place to start if you're watching this for the first time and you're trying to get an understanding of, of, of what's going on. If you're an independent artist trying to get your music out there and collect all your royalties and revenue. So I'll start by saying that uh, the video, uh, broadly speaking, the video kind of left it as a toss-up between CD Baby Pro and DistroKid with Song Trust. Okay, so the 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 issue here is is that DistroKid has been promoted excessively on the internet, on YouTube, many many producers and artists on YouTube who have channels are promoting DistroKid because they have an affiliate program, which means that anybody that signs up through these particular links that these people are offering on their YouTube pages, the people who promote this get paid. So this is one of the main issues that, that we'll see is that, that DistroKid is promoted a lot on YouTube, and if you're watching videos like this, you'll hear a lot about how great DistroKid is. But really, these people are saying this because they have deals with DistroKid and they're being paid by DistroKid. Now, I personally, if, you, if you've seen my videos, if you follow my content, you know that I've had a very good relationship with DistroKid as far as uh, putting music up, it being there, it being available, and it, it's very simple. And, uh, and I, I've only had one issue, and I, I've documented that in another video that I can also put in the, the link below about how, how I handled it. But for the, for the most part, uh, there's a very big drawback to DistroKid, and that is, first of all, without even considering their service, they don't offer a way for you to collect your publishing. They just distribute, okay? They are a distributor. They're, they're a music administrator, which means they administrate, they distribute your music to the DSPs, the digital streaming platforms, like we mentioned, Apple, Spotify, Google Play. Um, so they're, you're, you're only going to collect your mechanical royalties whenever a song is bought on their site or it's streamed through the, the platforms that they distribute it to. Now, if you're a songwriter, if you... If you technically own the words, the lyrics, and the music, the melody and whatnot, you've written the song, then you're entired, you're you're entitled to your music publishing. Okay, so you want both of these. And, and there's a third category too that that's that that you might have heard of is a, a, a PRO, which is a performance right organization like ASCAP or BMI or SOCAN. And that's, that's, that's a group that collects royalties when your music is performed, okay? So we're, you can sign up for a, for a PRO uh, independently. And we'll actually get into it in a second that, that through CD Baby, CD Baby Pro actually signs you up, including their fee. Uh, but you can sign up for a PRO no matter what. 
What we're talking about right now is which administrator should you choose and which is best for you if you're wanting to collect all of these royalties for yourself. Now, I said that 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 DistroKid does not collect publishing, which means which it's it's basically, you know, if if your song gets really really big and someone covers it or if uh, it becomes popular and 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 it's used in uh, by anyone really, if someone wants to cover the song, if someone wants to to use your lyrics, if someone wants to use your music, you're not getting the you're not getting money from that. Also, if if every time a song is streamed and played, it gets mechanical royalties, which is related to the copy of the actual song, the recording of that song. So if you're an artist and you haven't signed your rights away, then you, you, if you've recorded that song, you own the recording, you own the master. But there's a whole other aspect, uh, another side of the music business that, that creates and generates revenue. And that's not just owning the recording, that one recording, but it's owning the music and the lyrics behind that recording that could maybe be used anywhere else by any other artists. So the importance of owning the publishing is almost as just is almost just as important as owning and retaining and getting the mechanical royalties as an artist through streams. Okay, so I in the previous video I I talked about the the pros of CD Baby Pro and DistroKid. Now, the thing about CD Baby Pro is that they offer distribution in the same way DistroKid does, but they have partnered with SongTrust in order to collect publishing. Now, SongTrust is is an is a company that has relationships with um, with the music industry, and they collect publishing uh, for artists. Now, the thing about the thing of, here here's the here's the issue is that CD Baby Pro, or regular CD Baby, uh, is just like DistroKid. They just distribute. But CD Baby Pro is basically like DistroKid with a publisher, which is SongTrust. That's their partner. That's who they use to collect your royalties in publishing. So the, where I left the video last time is, is that you can either get CD Baby Pro, which is kind of a one-stop shop. It's more expensive, and you, play, you pay per project, which we'll get into in just a second. Or you can get, or you can get DistroKid, which is an annual fee, and if you stop paying that annual fee, all your music will be taken down. But you can pay a, a, a relatively low yearly fee and then pay for the service of song trust. Now, this has this there's still a lot of debate and and as I've said, I I personally like CD Baby Pro and have been using CD Baby Pro for my previous two albums and um, that's worked really really well for me. But I want to revisit something the reason I want to revisit the topic is because I've been thinking about maybe moving on and, 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 and approaching this from a different way. So what I want to do it right now is I'm going to switch to my screen and I want to show you what, what I've been working on. So I'm going to switch over to my screen and we'll get started. All right. So I got a, I, I made just this quick spreadsheet to, uh, just go over the, the pros and cons of these particular music administrators. Now, as you can see here, uh, CD Baby offers multiple services. Uh, they, you can release a single that does not cover uh, the publishing or an album that does not cover the publishing. And these are equivalent to uh, what we have with DistroKid. DistroKid charges $20 per year for uh, unlimited uh, albums and singles. And that sounds fantastic. It sounds fantastic, but as I said earlier, it doesn't op they don't have an option for publishing. So it's important that you pair this with Song Trust. If you go with CD, if you go with DistroKid, you have to have a publisher. And that Song Trust is a hundred dollars, a one-time fee of that. 
and then they take 15% of your publishing uh, as basically a fee for collecting your publishing that you otherwise wouldn't have received. So first, I want to go through some other options because uh, I want to show you how, in my opinion, they're just not viable options. They aren't something that I they don't I don't think that they are affordable for most people and I also think that um uh well it's mainly about affordability uh and let's just get into it so so, so TuneCore uh they have all of all of these besides CD Baby have a yearly fee okay so TuneCore charges nine, $9.99 per year for every single so it's nine ninety nine to, to to distribute a single, but it's also but you have to pay that every year for that single. It's not a, it's not a fee to use their service. It's a fee for that project. So they have an they have another fee also for an album, which is twenty nine ninety nine for the first year, and then it's forty nine ninety nine for the year after. So let's say you put out two singles that are leading up to your album, and then you release the album as a whole, including those two singles. Okay, so if we round this to $10 and $30, that's $50. So you got two singles for $20, and then you have the, the album uh, for, for $30. So that's $50 total. So that's $50 the first year, and it's $70 the next year, forever. Okay, you stop paying that fee that for the project and that music is removed from the platforms and you, your music's gone. Now, that's just for one album. Let's say you make an album every year for 10 years, right? So that, that, that 30 becomes 300 that you're paying for the first year and that 50, let's say you make 10 albums, that's that becomes 500 every single year. And let me be let me be clear, this is without publishing. This is just like an expensive seat distro kit. There there is no publishing being collected. Now, if you want TuneCore to collect your publishing, you pay a one-time fee of $75, which I'll admit is cheaper than Song Trust, but they also take 15% of your publishing which is the same as song trust. So it's a, it's $25 cheaper, which is clearly a marketing scheme because they're really getting your money here. Also, they take 20% of your sync licensing, which is what you would get say from YouTube and whatnot. So that's that's already shady. So even though it's $25 one-time fee for publishing, which is really, really important, and I would say is is a no-brainer. It's a, it, there's no question that you get publishing if you're a songwriter, but these prices are just ridiculous. Now, the distro kid. Uh, so for me, TuneCore is just not an option. It's it's way too expensive. I don't know anything about their customer service. I've heard a lot of good deals, uh, a good things about TuneCore. Like for example, Russ, the, the hip hop artist, Russ talks a lot about TuneCore. He uses TuneCore for a while has used TuneCore for a while, but I simply just don't know about their service. Uh, I just know that it's way too expensive. So DistroKid, the next option is DistroKid. So you can pay $20 per year, and they they push this $20 per year as this low fee, but if, as you, if you've ever uploaded music through DistroKid, you know that, that there are many other aspects that you want uh, options that you need uh, including uh, being able to determine which date your song is released. So you can't, let's say, for example, if you want to put your music on a Spotify playlist, you have to apply to that. You have to submit it early. And if you can't control when that music comes out and it just comes out instantly, you're never going to be able to submit your music to like a, a Spotify playlist or a blog and say, hey, my music's up, but it's not, it's not published yet. So any any anything that any company or organization that requires to hear your music or see your music or has has links to your music before it comes out in order for them to uh, assess it or to to look it over for uh, consideration for their programs 
then you're going to have to get the $35 one for your, for, for distro kid, distro kid. Uh, there, if you're, a, if you're, I hate to use this term, but if you're a serious artist, like if you're wanting to do this for real, there are certain things that you have to have that just don't come with the $20, uh, service with DistroKid. So again, DistroKid does not offer publishing in any shape or form. You have to get a publisher, which most people would get Song Trust, which is $100 one-time fee with a 15% uh, take on the publishing, right? You keep 100% of your mechanicals, but they take 15% of your publishing as your, publish as your publisher who collects those royalties and revenues for you. Now, people on this, this particular channel have asked me about uh, United Masters, and I don't really know that much about United Masters, and that's not because I haven't looked. It's because it's all, all over its website. It has this, this vibe that, that, is, that it's exclusive, that it's invitational only, uh, that you can't really know what it's about or what they offer until you inquire through their website and ask them for an invitation. I mean, it says it, it makes it sound like it's like this exclusive club that you that you should pay a premium for to be a part of. But really what it what it is is it's just an expensive distro kid from what I see. There's nothing on the website that I've seen that indicates that it provides publishing. But it is $59 per year. That's what it, the website does say. Or if you're, this is for like a special service. So if you're, this is the full membership, $59.99 per year. And I'm, I'm assuming that it has the same model as DistroKid. You can put, put up as much music as you want. If you don't pay the $59.99, they take 10% of everything. And, and again, this is just off their website. It's in, the, it's in the frequently asked questions. And it's literally like three sentences. So this, I don't, I've never seen the terms and conditions. You have to ask to be a part of this to get any type of uh, clear information. So I, 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 this, this puts me off. Any organization that's trying to project itself as exclusive and invitation only is, it, 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 it's, it's going to be hit or miss. It's either going to be really, really great and be have like a concierge and have great customer service. I just don't know much about United Masters because I haven't bothered with getting into all that. Like I, I, I personally am not interested in exclusivity and, and that type of thing. I just want a good customer service and a cheap price. Okay, so in the past, I've always typically gone with uh, CD Baby Pro, Okay, so this is CD Baby regular, $9.95, no publishing, albums are $29 per project. You pay a one-time fee if you, if, if you decide that you never want to make any more music. If you've paid the $29 and you released your album, that album will be on the platforms forever. Okay, there's no annual fee, there's no project fee that you have to pay every year. Now, one of the things that, that's really good about CD Baby Pro, which is basically DistroKid with... Song Trust, okay? So Song Trust is CD Baby's partner which 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 they allow uh, they allow publishing to be collected. So CD Baby's partnered with Song Trust in order to create this package called CD Baby Pro, which is 29.99 per single and $69 per album with publishing. Okay? So it's basically giving you access to Song Trust without having to pay Song Trust's individual sign-up fee. Now, CD Baby Pro, just because it is using Song Trust, takes 15% of your publishing. You keep 100% of your mechanicals and you uh, forfeit 15% of your publishing in order to get uh, the service that they provide through Song Trust. Now, you can either go $29.99 per song or $69 per album with CD Baby Pro, which uses Song Trust. Or I've been thinking about for some of you that are like, okay, music is my thing. I'm going to be making albums and singles for a long time. What do I do? Now, I'll tell you this CD Baby Pro, I'm still with CD Baby Pro that it's completely convenient 
and they cover all the revenues and royalties that you would want as an artist. But I want to throw out, the reason I'm revisiting this is I want to, I want to throw out a new option, and that is... Instead of using CD Baby Pro, which is basically CD Baby plus Song Trust in one package, that maybe, maybe you can use Song Trust, sign up for Song Trust yourself instead of through CD Baby, and then pick a particular publisher that you like. Now, this is the option that I originally said about DistroKid. You sign up with SongTrust, who collects your publishing, and then you find the cheapest distributor that you want. Now, if you're, if you're just worried about the money, which, is, which I don't think is, should be the most important thing because we're talking about, about your partner, right? Whoever you partner with is extremely important, and it may be worth your extra $20 or $30 a year to partner with someone that you really uh, enjoy being a partner with. So if if I've heard a lot of bad things about DistroKid, that that DistroKid has, I guess their system has struggled with, and there is often a difficult um, time getting a hold of them. You're not going to get be able to speak to a person. Uh, my email uh, experience with them has been fine, but you know. Your miles may vary. You may have a totally different experience. CD Baby, on the other hand, has been really good to me. They've answered all my emails, and uh, I think they're a little bit more user friendly. But here's here's what here's my idea. My idea. This is just an example with you. If you just only want to put out albums and you um, want to use CD Baby Pro. Okay, so as I said, that's $69. So let's say for first album, $69. Second album, $69. Third album, $69. Okay, that is a total of $207 to distribute through CD Baby Pro. Now, if you did the same thing with signing up independently with Song Trust and then using CD Baby's regular uh, $29 uh, option with no publishing, it's going to be $187. Okay, so 187 compared to 207. So really, it's roughly uh, if if after your second album you'll break even, uh, and then after that, after your second album, it will start being cheaper. It'll then be 29 every time instead of 69, because you've paid 100 up front, even though it's more expensive to sign up with Song Trust. Over time, you're going to pay less uh, over time. And it's exponential. As, as the more you put out, the more you will pay with CD Baby Pro than with Song Trust and regular CD Baby. And if you use DistroKid, it's even cheaper. But like I said, you have to make the decision whether you want to use Dist DistroKid or not, considering their reputation and uh, their customer service. You, there's really no point to compare uh, uh, TuneCore in this scenario because. You're paying every single year for the project and you're going to be paying for your publishing, which is, is, is way too expensive and there's way too many fees. Okay, well, let's say you want to put out singles. You're not worried about albums. Well, regular CD Babies, uh, regular C CD Baby uh, Pro is $29.95, which is a single with publishing. So let's say you put out five singles, uh, not a lot of music. You know, uh, most of you who have been making music for a long time have s five songs out. Okay, so to put out five songs through CD Baby Pro, just five singles is $149. Now, if you paid the one-time fee at Song Trust and then you used the regular CD CD op, CD Baby option, um, it's 149. Okay, so it's exactly the same price. So after five, even though you're paying a hundred dollars up front, it's the exact same price. You break even after your fifth. This should say after your fifth. Okay. So, so that means if you make six songs or seven songs or eight songs and you use CD Baby, it's cheaper. It's cheaper to use regular CD Baby with Song Trust than to pay the premium or the bundle 
uh, of CD Baby Pro, which is CD Baby plus Song Trust. It's, it's kind of counterintuitive because they're, it's basically the same thing, but instead of, instead of buying it all together through CD Baby, you're having to work with Song Trust and regular CD Baby. So uh, I'm going to switch back, switch back to the camera and we'll wrap it up. All right, so I know that that was kind of a lot of information, and but but many of you have been asking for that information, and I think it's really really important to uh, not get. I, I don't want to get stuck in my ways. I don't want to just say, okay, I decided on this two years ago, and I'm sticking with it because because of my idealism or whatever. No, I'm I'm constantly looking to see what what better ways to do things, and I haven't. I haven't really thought about this because it's um, it kind of sounded like it was maybe too complicated or, or I didn't want to get, you know, to get away from something really simple. And uh, and and for many people, I think that are are putting out a lot of music. It is worth it for them to use DistroKid because it is cheaper in the long run. But really what we're talking about is like, the difference between maybe thirty or fifty dollars a year, and that may be a lot for some of you. But if if you're wanting to make music for a while, uh, and you like CD Baby, uh, CD Baby Pro is a great product. If it's worth it for you to to make everything in house with CD Baby, where you're checking your revenues, you're checking your sales, you're checking your publishing, and there you're going to receive checks from CD Baby. If that's what you want. That's what I've done the last two two albums, but I think I may be going towards Song Trust and CD Baby regular, uh, which is basically DistroKid. I like CD Baby's uh, customer service, but also it's it's cheaper in the long run, and it may give you options uh, as distributors become cheaper as distributors, you know, start to offer better deals. Cause right now there's, there's really not that many, there's more than there used to be, but there's not as many as maybe that are coming out in the future. So if you've used song trust, which is what CD baby pro uses, uh, you might just want to sign up with them independently and then pick whoever distributes that you want. So you, you might just want to Stick with Song Trust, which is what CD Baby Pro uses, and then shop around with the different uh, administrators or distributors because you may there may be uh, a, a good deal coming out in the future that's even better than CD Baby. Uh, but right now, I, I I'm I'm gonna lean towards CD using CD Baby Pro, uh, which is CD Baby regular with Song Trust or actually signing up for them independently with Song Trust and CD Baby Regular, which is even cheaper in the long run after four projects, three projects of an album or five projects of a single. Uh, but check out, my, check out my other two videos about mechanical royalties, about masters, about publishing. And uh, if, if, if you're not really sure about what, what these terms are that I'm using... Uh, go back to those, uh, you know, earlier videos and that will help you get up to speed. This video is for people who, who know what those are and who have maybe had some experience with a distributor that they're not happy with, or maybe they're looking to switch, or maybe they're, maybe they're signing up for the first time as an independent artist and maybe have been on a label in the past, whatever it is, look at, look at these numbers for yourself, figure out what's most affordable. And, um, if you're, if you're in music for the long haul, uh, the extra 30 or $40 may be worth it for you to be, uh, associated and, and, and affiliated with a group that you trust that, that, you know, has your best interests and isn't trying to be gimmicky and trying to get you to sign up and trying to pay off, you know, influencers on YouTube to get your money. Okay. You want it for me. I just want the, the simplest product uh, with 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 the best customer service at a good price. For me, that's CD Baby Pro, and I think in the future it's going to be CD Baby Regular with my own sign up with Song Trust. As I said, in the long long run, it's the same product. It's just 
It's just cheaper, and it gives me the, the freedom to sign up with a different distributor if a better one comes down uh, the street. So I'd be happy to hear what, what you think, comments, uh, any questions that you have, anything that's unclear, let me know. Uh, I love to receive your comments uh, and hear your feedback. So as always, I appreciate uh, all of all of your engagement, you watching it, and we'll see you again next time.